welcome to what is another retrograde vlog and um, today we're off to drift games on mondello and um just about to head up we're heading up from killarney so it's probably going to take us three three and a half hours um but yeah really looking forward to this one and i'll take you along on the route so we left Killarney at about 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, it was an early start, still dark outside, a fairly cold outside too, but well, here we are just leaving just outside Limerick, it was such a gorgeous morning, like there was a bit of fog, the fog got worse as we went up and got closer and closer to Mondello, but yeah, can't get over the sound of the 5 cylinder uh, in the Focus ST belong to Chris. We finally made it up to Mandela anyway. It was incredibly foggy, but it made for some really nice shots and pictures as well. Uh, you can see those on the Instagram. There's Darren McNamara's Group D PS13. And of course, there's an IS200 doing its thing. The main track was still closed due to the fog, so everyone set to the inner track, and it was, you know, people were pushing on hard, uh, but it was great to see already. We found this really cool Honda K truck. Really cool to see it in the paddocks and then took another look around the paddocks to see what we could find. Then word finally got out that the track was slowly gonna start reopening to one car at a time. You could sense the excitement in the air because this was the last Drift Games bash of the year, one of the last track days in Mondello as well. It was great to see it with the fog because, you know, as I said, it made from some great shots. The excitement was slowly starting to build as the main track started slowly reopening. We decided to then take a little bit of a step back and just enjoy some of the drifting and watch the cars going around and let you guys enjoy that as well. We got a bite to eat and went for a stroll around as well before Connor Smith took me out in his three and a half liter inline six swapped uh, BMW E30 for what is essentially my first drift lap around Mondello Park. And to say that I enjoyed it is an absolute understatement. The guy is a pilot, the car is class, uh, there's no other way around it and it's such good fun out there. And also can we take a second to just appreciate the breaker bar as the hydro. Next we went over to have a look at Daniel McConnell's R32 road legal drift car and he was kind enough to take me out for a lap in it as well. There's that chaser, for some reason it lost the wheel. When we went out we didn't get to do a full lap because there was a, you know, there was some kind of an issue on the track and the track ended up being closed. But I still terribly enjoyed my time out and for a young guy, he's some pilot, uh, I'll tell you that much. It was very interesting to see the differences between the E30 and the R32 because the R32 had an RB20 turbocharged engine, whereas the E30 had a three and a half liter straight six, naturally aspirated from the five series. We 
You can actually see the incident that caused the track to be closed for a little while up ahead of us here. And I'll let you get back to watching the drifting. And here's a five cylinder turbo swapped Volvo. <laughs> At this stage, we were getting towards the end of the Drift Games Bash, probably into probably about the last 20 minutes, so you can see that, you know, people are going at it hard, trying to get the last of their tires out, trying to get the last run of, uh, you know, have a good last run of 2021, and it was crazy to see as well. started getting very close to home time and just as we were about to leave we saw this 422 GTR shooting flames what a crazy crazy machine Pretty sure all of you recognize Jason McConnell's R35 GTR as well as Craig Coleman's Pandem Kitted E46. That's a different E46 at all for you. And this is just one example of how wild Jason's GTR is with the full bucket seats in a car that he uses as a daily. This MX-5 is owned by RetroGuard's follower Ralph and it's really cool to see a 16 year old uh, get involved in motorsports so young. It was then time to finally hit the road and say bye to our internet friends and um, yeah, start making our way back down to Killarney which is going to take about 4 hours or so. Here's a really cool Merc that was also drifting during the Drift Games Bash and there's Dublin Car Club's BMW M3 competition which is an insane machine, it's completely track focused. But that was our time at Drift Games Bash, we had such a great time. Uh, we stopped off in Super Max on the way home of course, it's become a little bit of tradition for when we head up to Mondello now but can't wait to be back at another one and hope you all have a great start to 2022 and uh, you'll be seeing a lot more on this channel as well. If you want to pick up any of the images that you've seen at the end of this video as a print or else want to pick up one of the license plates rounds you can do so on retrogarage.ie or else drop me a DM over on Instagram or through Facebook. A big big thank you to all of you for supporting Retrogarage and I'm really excited for everything in store for 2022. It's going to be a big year ahead. Cheers and we'll talk to you in the next one. Oh and make sure to subscribe, like, all that usual stuff as well as checking out our TikTok and Instagram which are both RetroGarage official. <laughs>